no teaching. We want to take you straight to Delta House now, where the Council of Governors is addressing journalists. Listen in. Ladies and gentlemen of uh, the media, we are gathered here as a uh, uh, Council of Governors. We've also been joined by Cabinet Secretary for ICT, uh, John Mushero, and Cabinet Secretary for Foreign Affairs, uh, Madam Amina Mohammed. We were sitting to deliberate about uh, uh, the sad situation uh, yesterday, where we lost our colleague, our brother and colleague, uh, the late uh, Dr. Gakuru, Governor Gakuru. Uh, we are also here with uh, Deputy Governor Mutai Kahiga of Nyeri, and also Senator Ephraim Maina of Nyeri. Um, we came together to discuss about the pre-arrangements for the funeral and the funeral itself. We have been given a tentative date by the family of the uh, uh, 18th of this month uh, for the funeral. We have set up a national committee which I will be co-sharing with uh, uh, CS Mushero uh, with several members, uh, committee members uh, between 12 and 15. There will also be another committee uh, at the county level uh, which will be co-shared by Senator Maina and uh, Deputy Governor Motai Kahiga and there will also be a family committee that the family will communicate to us later who will be the members of that committee all these three committees will be involved in, uh, in, 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 in discussing the arrangements for the, uh, the funeral and how we can be able to give a proper send-off to our colleague. Um, both the Nyeri County Government and the National Government and with the support of the Council of Governors are going to be uh, uh, footing all the expenses in regard to, 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 to the funeral arrangements uh, that has been communicated. And um, uh, tentative dates for and timing for church service will be announced in due course. Uh, there are still consultations with the family to find to to, to finally agree on uh, where the the church service will be held in uh, both in Nairobi and Nyeri, and that information is going to be communicated in due in due time. Uh, I will let uh, my co-chair uh, uh, C.S. Mucheru to 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 say a few things on what I've already uh, informed you. Thank you very much, uh, Chair. <coughs> yes, it is a sad time for, for Nyeri County and also for Kenya. And uh, we're taking it seriously to ensure that we're going to give our colleague uh, a very good uh, send-off. We've been in communication with the family and uh, we're working with them. As they give us more information, we'll be able to communicate that uh, to you in terms of dates. Uh, one of the children is actually undergoing exams at this moment so we can't push things uh, too fast uh, and we're being sensitive to ensure that we manage uh, for the family. We have uh, lost someone that was very dear to us, very important for the Nyeri County. Many plans 
uh, he had uh, many visions I had talked to him about what we needed to do as a county and part of that was extending you know to the whole country as you can see you know we have uh, you know the governors here fully supporting so the country is mourning uh, together to ensure that you know we will support each other in these times of uh, difficulty as you've heard from the my co-chair we have agreed as the national government and county governments to provide all the support that's required <coughs> in all the different uh, venues and we will be communicating as i said back to everybody on any new information that we get for now we want to make sure that the family has had enough time to be able to consult and uh, we can be able to communicate to you thank you very much unless there are any questions or comments okay Mm -hmm. uh, members of the media, thanks. And uh, I, I would just like to appeal to you, gentlemen of the media and the ladies, that let us be considerate and sensitive to the family. This was a very tragic death. We all know how it came about, and it has caused a, a huge impact even to the children. And the what I'm beseeching you, whereas we may not be, do, be able to do much with the social media, I'm appealing to you, can we try to be sensitive to the family in the reporting? This report that uh, actually consoles the family, and we avoid some of the other things that may come along which are not uh, conducive to the morning that we have. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Let, let, let me add that uh, the meetings, we're going to have some meetings scheduled for people to be able to come and condone with the family. We will communicate that later in the day where those meetings are going to be. Okay. Mm. Asante. Uh, that's all, eh? Sawa. Mm. Sawa, sawa. Thank you. Yeah. This is not the time for that. Mm. We will come back to you on that. We are morning. Yeah? We, we are also people of Nyeri, so this is not, this is not the time. I think just giving them assurance <laughs> that uh, that will be taken care of, and uh, uh, due process of the law will be followed, but also uh, the fact that we are now in this situation will also be uh, taken into consideration. Mm. And just, just to finish, uh, the governor was a sitting governor, and therefore this will be a state funeral. It's, uh, and therefore this is why we are taking all the protocols and ensuring it is done correctly. Okay? okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.